Hello everyone, oh, and welcome to Soda Dungeon 2, given to me by Armour Game Studios. Um, I've played the first one, absolutely love the first one. So the fact that the developer reached out and gave me the second one? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, that's an update thing. Okay, so let's begin. In a dungeon far away, a group of soda fueled adventurers made their last stand. We're almost there. Yeah, and we don't stand a chance. Look, we have to try. Try? Just try to stop me! Click directly on an enemy to attack them. That sounds easy enough. Fair enough. Easy enough. Oh yeah! Are you ready for this evil guy? Why did we bring him along again? Gone, it's just us. I know. I, know. I love the music. I absolutely love it. You look cute. Did you drag him? Oh, he didn't. Oh, he went down in one hit. Here we are, then, friends, standing before the self-proclaimed darkness of all lords. Face us, you coward. <laughs> that is a privilege you haven't earned. What you have earned, however, is a front row seat to your own destruction. I wish I could say that you inconvenienced my plan, but you don't even know what you're fighting against. You are inconsequential. Now say goodbye to this dimension. Uh, wait, is this one of the games where I end up dead at the beginning again? It is, isn't it? We can all go home, folks. The we're, we're dead, the, the the city, whatever it is, completely kaput now. Yep, job done, everyone go home. How did he survive that? Well then, I suppose that's that. No more soda, no more adventures. So you had to see that friend. Well, even he, even he thinks the game's over. Listen, the wizard gave me this trinket. He said it could take a person far away and make them forget their troubles. But the Darkest Lord was our trial world to sort out. Not yours. If anyone deserves it, it's you. Maybe you can use it to find another land where the soda flows freely and the carbonation's just right. You guys are drunk. Or maybe just a place where Dark Lords, well, aren't so dark. I know you'll forget our conversation, but I have a strange feeling you'll be back one day. With a stockpile of new sodas, gears and warriors, of course. R right? You take the trinket and clutch it in your hand. Its soft glow catches your gaze and you feel your vision relax. You blink and the scene before you starts to blur. However, before you even have a chance to comprehend what is happening, darkness. Are they... Did they call this Soda Dungeon because they didn't want to be associated with alcohol or something? Really, you open your eyes. You stand in the town that is strangely... But, 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 but. Fine, don't let me think it. Welcome to Soda Dungeon. It sounds like an interesting conversation is happening in town. Why not why the soda around here is so special? There's a half naked man in the tavern. Okay. That's right. As much as you can drink. Yeah! Oh yeah! Let me out! Okay, half naked man. Soda junkies join the party. Oh, hello stranger. Mind watching over our friend here? See to it that he earns some coin in that dungeon over there and you might be able to keep some of yourself. Quest must be turned in from either the reason that put directly under the music. One? You do one? Oh yeah, give me that ball. Again, you just do one. Too easy! Uh, I think you need I, I think you need those bones, good sir. Wait a second. I'm unstoppable, right? You're half a time, but that's okay. Your feet are just part of What is that? That looks like a sandworm. Oh. This is not a sustainable lifestyle for a family man with an avid love of soda. I quit. Where did I leave Wait, you lost your pat? Oh my days, he's running around naked. Your party has been wiped out, but your fighter left all of his loot behind. Grab it and head back to the tavern. Fair enough. Um, 
another half naked man. Okay. Hmm, not bad. You might be just the person I need to manage these adventures. Let's try giving our friend here some basic equipment. Looting the dungeon is the key to bear items, but this will do for now. Take the soda junkie on a trip with a weapon and shield. Okay. A bar stool and a broken glass ball. Okay, what's this? Oh! <laughs> whoops, I forgot to collect, to collect that. Oh, whoops, I forgot to click on him. I'm doing well today. The characters will be auto equipped with your best items. This setting can be turned off in your people. Why would you want it turned off? Is there some trick I'm missing? In the arena, you can create custom re custom scripts to murder. I'm reading that messed up as well. Ooh, I sent it on auto. There we go. He's doing better. Oh. Okay. I wonder how long this guy will last. So, this is very much an idle game. Uh, when you want this to be or otherwise, you can take manual control of the. Oh, he's dead again. Killed by a thief? Best fine, wooden sword. Yeah, he was using a bottle. Okay, what's this? A pelt. Okay. Uh, he died way too. Oh, got another thing. Hello, who are you? Are you a wizard? Are you a. Who are you? Alright, we need to fix this place up a bit. We need to stop the right sodas to attract new customers and make sure they have a place to sit to. I nearly said something else there. Tables are in place to sit, meaning more party members to choose from. So does bring new adventurers to the town. You may not see them until after your next dungeon trip. Short on gold, don't forget to turn in your place. I have been turning in my place, I remember. You'll need carpenters to expand your town. With any luck, this will be. Is there anything else I can buy, perhaps? Or oh, sort of, actually. Hi there. I'm new to these parts. My past is most certainly mysterious. But we don't need to get into that right now. Just call me the recruiter. I have a unique skill set, and you're never going to guess this, but I can recruit special characters for you. I can also recruit an entire party of your choice in a snap. It will cost you, of course. Now, you could always use some of the tavern upgrades to do something similar. But I'd argue my services are a little more hmm, optimized. So I made a little deal with the tavern owner. I told him I'd throw your first recruit slot for free. I thought it best to not step on any toes, seeing as how I'm a guest around here. Now listen, if you've only been in a dungeon a few times, you probably don't need my help yet. That's the kind of honesty you know you can trust. I'll be here when you're ready. Okay, so the first one's free. Um, I can't. You lied to me. I can't get any of them yet. Alright. I got lied to by a video game. Using liquidate the blacksmith is a quick way to earn gold and get rid of unwanted items. He looks very tanned. I admit it's extremely similar to the first game, but I actually really like these kind of games. You found some more. Harvesting ore deposits is optional, but may produce precious carbon materials. Ore does not receive damage like regular enemies, and it's a simple part of the Oh. <laughs> well done, Kat. You should have focused on your enemies first. Where's that? Heal stone grants. Heal one MP magic heals twenty. Just uh, yeah. I, I should have focused on him. Who are you? Greetings. I was passing through the area and had a little chat with the tavern owner. It sounds like my skill set could come in handy for you. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll set up shop right here and for an industry competitive price, build anything you need. Allow the camp to set up shop and build a bridge. Being such a good sport, I'm even going to throw in a mailbox to you. Oh, how, how generous of you. Okay, thanks for 
you're playing so did I. Keep an eye on your inbox for gifts and interesting messages. Anyway guys, that is all I have time for today. Thank you so so much Shield Game Studios for allowing me to play Soda Dungeon 2. Guys, if you're not sure about this one, be sure to check out the first one, Soda Dungeon, which I believe is free on Steam. And anyway, guys, if you like the content I am putting out, link to my copy is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye for now.